Hi, so this is the Sianda AdBlue manufacturing process. So today I'm going to walk you through the whole process step by step. Behind me are the raw water tanks. First step is to ensure that these raw water tanks are filled with raw water. In the next step, we want to make sure that the air compressor is running and that there's enough demineralized water in the two demineralized tanks in the back. The next stage involves the water filtration system, which is this system right here. First step is to turn it on. Next, we're going to go to the low pressure pump 2 stage, turn this on to manual. Then to production 1 stage, turn this to on. Production 2 stage, turn that to on. The next step in the process is to make sure that the urea feeder valve between the hopper and the mixer is tightly closed. We then add the urea bags to the crane. We hoist the crane to the top of the hopper. Once at the top, we open the bags into the hopper. We then ensure that the valves on the inlets of the AdView storage tanks are open. The next step involves the control panel. You're going to enter the amount of urea added to the hopper over here in weight. Once that is done, the system will automatically calculate the amount of water needed to mix with the urea. From there, we will then start the blender and start the pump. Once you hear the pump and blender running, we then proceed to the urea feeder valve. This is a manual process, so not, not to let the valve open too much, to let too much urea flow. After about 5 minutes of production, we will be able to take a sample from the filtration outlet over here using the AdBlue refractor meter. The AdBlue mark should be sitting at around 32.5%. The AdBlue will now be flowing from the mixing plant into the AdBlue storage plants. Once all the urea is used up, the machine will stop automatically. We then can ensure that all the valves are closed and the process can repeat itself again. And that is how we make AdBlue here at Cianda Blue.